today we have um, Horrible Science Exclusive Experiment and I'll, I'll be doing this experiment with my own obvious snack. Okay, so in the box we have got a number of things. There's these beautiful goggles for our to wear. <laughs> We've got the lab notebook, which has obviously got the instructions in. We've got a number of things for the experiment, so there's food colouring and some things. I think those are for the rocket. Um, some plastic things. Some sand. A volcano, which we'll be using later. A little pot of slime, which we won't. Plastic stuff. And then we have some sodium hydrogen carbonate and some glue for super snot. We've read the safety rules, um, so we know everything that's going on. I'm the supervising adult, and Abs is wearing her goggles. Um, because this, we're doing the volcano experiment, and it might be a bit messy, as you can see, we have laid out a newspaper on the table, otherwise, um, you know, I might get in a bit of trouble. So we've got all the ingredients. We've got the volcano on a tray, got some sand, teaspoon, sodium hydrogen carbonate, and some malt vinegar. Okay, so um, as it says in the uh, instruction manual, we've uh, made a volcanic landscape with the sand. It is easy, it looks very volcanic. Um, I think the sand is also for um, when all the magma overflows, it's not all very messy. It's not real magma. I know it's not real magma. Shh, don't tell um, It says now to fill two thirds of the base of the volcano with vinegar. So that's what I'm going to do. volcano. That's coming out crop wise. <laughs> is this how big? Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> see. Gosh, you can't just do your job, can you, Harry? Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll make it easier. <laughs> Oh, it's not. So this is just um, normal malt vinegar. It's not in Sainsbury's, but it can be from, you know, any major supermarket. Maybe not in a supermarket. Your head's been Um, I think that is about... Yeah, just leave it, that'll be fine. Um, put that over there for a second. Let's say next. It said that I might want to wet the sand first with some water, oh, but I think it looks awesome nice. enough already, so mm. it's fine. We need to put one teaspoon of sodium hydrogen carbonate into the vinegar in the base, and then screw on the lid of the volcano, making sure it's on securely, then stand back. So, add. You have to do it really quickly. Right, I'll put it in and then you can screw it on. So what do you want me to screw it on? Be careful. We're good. I think we're capable, Harry. No, you're not. Okay, now let's get rid of the audio. Yes. More. More. I don't want to bring it everywhere. Okay, that's fine. Okay, go. Ah, screw on. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it's very exciting. Give it a little shake. I'm going to give it a little shake. It's blowing enough already. Oh, it's making a cool sound. Ah, lava! It's a lot of magma. It's not magma. <coughs> Stopped yet? Nope. No. Add more sodium hydrocarbon. I'm not adding anything now. <laughs> Harry, we've got to stick to the instructions.
Okay, so that seems to be done now. That was a pretty impressive experiment. It's got here the possible results in this book. And it could either squirt lava in the air, a vo violent eruption. It flows slowly down the mountain, a gentle explosion. It erupts violently in the air, then oozes lava. Or nothing. And so we have to give it a bit of a shake. Um, I think that was... Um, that was pretty quick, flowing down the mountain, so it was in between the first and the second. Um, it now tells us to clear up very much, so it's very responsible. Um, I think that experiment was a great success. So, Abs, uh, what did you think of the Horrible Science Explosive Experiment Kit? I think it was really good, and the um, volcano experiment we did was great fun. Um, and it was interesting to experiment doing the different types of lava and seeing what happened. Do you think that that would be good for children aged 10 or over, as it says on the box? Uh, yeah, I think it was, considering I'm 17 and I found it quite fun, so... <laughs> okay, uh, and marks out of 10 for explosive mm. science. I'd say an 8. Wonderful. So, uh, cameraman Harry, what did you think of the experiment? I thought it was great fun. It's still going. <laughs> it's good. Um, yeah, uh, I thought it, it was very fun, even though... Uh, we are above sort of the age that it's aimed for, um, and that it it makes science fun for everyone. So Grace, what did you think about the uh, kit? Um, I thought it was a really good kit. Um, if the other experiments are as good as the one that we just did, I think that it will um, be a very good uh, present for young children. Cool. But, um, I think also the um, book. The lab notebook is very well explained. It has got um, it has got um, everything you need in it. it. Has got and if you um, read it, how to do everything, <laughs> what could happen, and then it does have some of the science behind it about how a real volcano works, and um, some facts about volcanoes. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, they use characters um, which children can relate to, so I think it's very, very um, good kit. Yeah, 10 I'd give it a 9.